Here I am. I know. I can. It's time. Time? Time for what, my king? Once I transit from here, make sure that I am accorded a gift in burial, according to the culture and tradition of our people. Bring home my son, Ebubedike, who had sojourn to the white man's country to further his education, guide him through the line of our culture, to get him prepared for the task ahead as the heir apparent to the throne of our forefathers. It's okay, my king, it's okay, it's okay. It's all right. Oh. My king. Your words have already traveled to my head as a wind to the clouds. I have always counted on your tenacity. And tenacious. Send back my wife to me and my would-be daughter-in-law. You may leave. It's okay, my king. Oh, no. Yes, my king. Let my crown be placed on my head. Crying from sunrise to sunset cannot actually do you any good. It will do you more harm than good. Your health is at risk. And we don't want to risk you too. Please. Exactly. You must have to be strong, my queen. Crying from here to tomorrow will not bring back our late king. If not, both of us would have joined you. Yes. Huh? I, 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 what we should be talking about now is how to progress in our planning for the burial of our late king. I, yes. Which starts by bringing our prince, Bebu Bedike, the heir apparent to the throne, back home here from his foreign base. Ah. Oh no, you are very correct. Huh? No. You should have spoken to me. Even if it's just a word. He just left unannounced. 
Why? Is that how people die? Is that? Is that how people die? To be home. Oh, oh, I have missed you so Hi. much, son. Miss you too, Mama. You I miss, so home. Thank you so much. Welcome back <laughs> here, apparently, yeah, to the throne of our people kingdom. Thank you, my Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. you are welcome. People are so happy to have you back home. I am so happy to be back home too. Yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, it's good to be home. Yes, Mom? Um, wait, um, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> We have a lot to discuss. What's that? Oh, we talk about the elder. Is that inside? Yeah, you can come on. Is it? Okay. Baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, babe, come, 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 let's go. After you, after you. No, after you. No, no. Baby! Yeah, babe, come in, come in, come in, baby. You have to be a man, my prince. You are a man. Be strong. Remember who and what you are. The son of a lion. Lions are not known for weakness and fears. Neither your late father our dead king. Great responsibilities lie on your shoulders now. So you must be strong to stand firm like a fearless warrior before a battlefield. Be strong. Sorry for your loss. Our loss. Our loss. My prince, like Ono has rightly said, we need your strength and valor. You know the strength of this kingdom lies on you now. Please, wipe away your tears, son of autumn. Huh? Be a man, be strong. We are solidly behind you. Thank God. Hmm? Son, returning from such a long journey, all you need now is a good meal and the rest. You can sit here and mourn all day, especially starving yourself. I don't want you to endanger your life. Your health is important. I wouldn't want to lose you too. Please, go to your chamber and get a good bath and rest. Okay, Mom. You can go to bed. 
our good person. You promise? Of course. Okay. I will. I will go to my room. Good night. The ways of God and other ways of men. You plan this way. Would plan differently. He's not a man. What he says will stand up. No one can direct him on what to do. Who's there? Who's there? Come in. Uh, greetings, my daughter. Sit. Um, I know why you're here. I understand your feelings. Honey, can we not talk about this issue this night? My son, the prince just arrived from such a long journey and he's in pain. For alas, remember? Can we give him time to heal? And uh, we can then discuss about this guest of his. Please. Thank you, Majesty. That's my baby girl. Um, don't worry. Just keep it cool, okay? Let your troubled heart be pacified with this personal light. And in the morning we can talk. Okay, Your Majesty. That's my girl. <laughs> you have to go to bed. And make sure you sleep like a newborn baby. Sure I will. Good. Good night. Good night, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Sweet dreams. <laughs> you too. <laughs> What is she doing in this palace? I am not ready to talk about that now. Really? No, you, you better be kidding because we have to talk about it. I am ready to have that conversation with you. And you answer me, Ebubeke. Who is she and what is she doing here? I want to be left alone. No, no. I won't leave you. I won't let that happen. You need to talk to me. Oh, you want me to go confront her? Should I go ask her? I'm your fiancé for crying out loud. You owe me that all that explanation. Okay? Who is she and what is she doing here? I said I don't want to talk about it. And when you have to talk about it now. Now! You want me to leave the room for you? No. You are not leaving. No one is leaving. We have to talk about it. Your friend. This is good. Hey, thank you so much. Hey. No, enough. Can you just stop being dramatic? I mean, it's nothing. I am not being dramatic. What are we friends for? 
You're my friend, right? I know. Uh -huh. Hey! Can you stop already? All this for me. You can check them out later, okay? <laughs> my friend. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome. Thank you. You know how I've missed you all this while you travel to abroad for your scholarship. I know, right? Yes! I mean, I am so happy seeing you. Thank you so much. Same here. Look at your color. <laughs> You're glowing. My I friend. know. <laughs> please, 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 Adora. Can you stop flattering me with your loud mouth? I Already. Am, I am not flattering with you. Thank you. I mean, the difference is clear. <laughs> Imagine this country you vote, and yet your vote does not count. Because of the manipulation of evil politicians. I know, right? Oh my god, it's actually quite pathetic. You know, what? I felt really bad when I heard what the CAP did in the last election. How they rigged the election in favor of their own preferred candidates against the people's choice, Paul Obi. You know, like, I wonder how many hopes they must have dashed to pieces by that singular act. Yes. I know God must judge them. Must. Must. Hey, hey my dear friend. What's this rumor that I'm hearing that you returned with the prince as his girlfriend? His fiancée, to be precise. Oh. You know, we met abroad, liked each other, and then one or two happened. We fell in love. Wow. Wow. But everybody knows that Emanuela has been the one the almighty queen is grooming for the prince. Oh, Tell me that bullshit. Adora, listen to me. I do not want to ever hear that cursed name around me again. All right? Now listen to me. She is not only desperate, she's also nothing but a cheap pig who is parading herself around, chasing clouds with the royal name. All right? I tell you something. They are nothing but childhood friends. The prince, I mean my fiance, confided in me. He even swore to me before I accepted his proposal that there was absolutely nothing between the two of them. And she knows it. She's just chasing clouds. And I know, I understand, okay? And as for the queen, I really do understand the dirty game she's trying to play because she's friends with the girl's mother. So she's trying to make it work out in favor of her friend's daughter. The prince, my fiance, wants no other than me. So all her efforts and her dirty games are nothing but waste of time and efforts. Wow. Wow. I envy you, girlfriend. Imagine you being chosen by an almighty queen for the prince. I mean, he has everything. He's tall, rich, and well-educated. I mean, he's the dream of every woman. Wait a minute. Wait. All this beautiful compliment for my mom. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell me, Adora, how long have you been crushing on my man? Maybe I can help tell him that you've got <laughs> feelings for him. Please, girlfriend, stop. I am not crushing on him. I'm just... Do not be scared. Mm. I'm only joking. Okay. But you know, it's actually quite crazy that I do not feel the same way for the prince. I mean, I do not love him. Yeah, I don't even have any single feelings for him. Uh, yes, girl. I only want to be royalty. And that's some period. That's all. Dear friend, you must be joking for you to say you don't have feelings for the prince. Read my lips. <gasps> You must be joking for you to say you don't have feelings. Wait a minute, you're still singing his praises. Are you at home in bed? But Prince, Prince is someone every woman's dream. And He's... you're still singing his praises. Enough of that chest, please. Tell me, why is abroad? I mean, came a couple doing I do not actually know how to begin to describe the abroad for you. You have to go there. Witness things by yourself. I have come to see you and inform you of the ritual which we have adopted. It has to do with the prince bride. 
she will die the day of her wedding night. As Achakaja, the great oracle, will feast on her blood that night. The sacrifice is to prepare the throne for the prince to ascend as the next king. After which, he can take another woman as his bride and rule with her. You are obligated to know this as the queen and the know of the kingdom. According to our tradition, that you must keep it a secret for the prince and the bride to be in order not to complicate matters. You know, you can tell your trusted elders. Oh. Thank you, great Ikoko, for your visit. I shall keep it a secret from my son, the prince, and his bride-to-be as you have commanded. The secret is safe with me. And I promise you, it shall be a secret, except for those you have asked me to relay it to. Greetings, my prince, and my husband to be. He sent for me. Yes. Please have a seat. Thank you. I guess you finally decided to give me some time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Perhaps. But you would have to hold on for I expect a third party to this conversation. A third party. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, honey. You sent for me? Yes. Do you now have time to talk to me? Yes, I do. And what is she doing here? She's part of the meeting. Part of the meeting? How? Why? No. Have you forgotten that three is a crowd? I understand. But I want both of you to hear what I have to say. First off, I'm going to start with a formal introduction. Ella? Yes, Daddy. Meet Yvonne. My fiancé all the way from abroad. Yvonne, this is Ella. Baby. My childhood bestie. Hi, childhood whatever. Good day. Your childhood bestie. Is that all I am to you? Ella, I am sorry for all the drama that has played since my return. But... But truth be told, we're just friends, family friends. Really? Family friends? <clears throat> with due respect, I am done with this meeting. Exactly what you should do to be done for good. I mean, forever. If I were you, I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Because it is not yet over. Okay, babe. Do you not have my time? I mean, to meet me up in the bedroom. Why? Why? Come with me, please. Come. <laughs> Things are 
expensive in the market these days. Mm -hmm. Imagine the small vegetables. Can you imagine? Imagine this vitamin that Mamu Juma gave me for 1,000. 1,000? 1,000 naira. Can you imagine? This is terrible. Hmm. Hey! You know now, you people that are living in the palace, now I'm good now. Now I'm better. Hey, let's go, John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's you know me. Have you heard the late news, Jesus? What is it? You have started the game with your mm. gossip. Eh? Look at your mouth, it's, it's growing up every day. What is it again? This one is not as usual, no. What? This one is very, very serious. What is it? That arrogant bride of Prince Ebu Bedike, she's in danger. In danger? She's in danger. How? I overheard my father, Diono, mm. discussing secretly with Ichi and Joko okay. that the tradition have changed. According to them, the first bride will die. Then, her blood. <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you. The first wife will die. Then her blood will be used to cleanse or purify the throne. Hey, after that, then the prince, her husband, will now marry a bride. Then she will live with him till she becomes the queen. Hey! Hmm. No wonder. Hey! In a good information. Mm. Is it correct no information? No wonder. No wonder the queen tolerated that, that arrogant Yvonne in the palace. Yes. So that she will be the first one to die. Ijiya. Ijiya. Mm. Why our friend Ella marries the prince as the true queen of this kingdom? Mm. Hey. That's not me. The queen is now is a genius. Mm. Thank God that the tradition did not favor them. Thank God that the tradition favors our friend Emanuela. Is a thing of joy. Mm. That arrogant lady will not be our queen. Hey! Mm. Please, don't tell anybody. Hey. Nobody, nobody should hate you. I should not tell Adjo anybody. Adi Why will I tell anyone? Huh? I reject it. I will never tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. How can I say anything mm. like this thing is a secret? Shh, shh, shh. Between the queen. It's okay. Mm. It's you will not tell anybody. Too. Hey, in fact, you didn't tell me anything. No. You didn't tell me anything. Hey! My upcomer. Eh? My queen. Eh, I'll be make your favorite. Your favorite. Eh, Ofen Salam. And eh, as, well, as Mangala. Hey, I'm not hungry. You know they're hungry. You be like saying, no, you have to talk. I cook your favorable food. Oh, yeah, do I look like I'm in the mood for all this? I'm not hungry, please. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, please. Ah, what's it called, the warrior? I don't know. This is all like her. She rejects open salawa aku. With a juna. Sne. I go find out. Yeah, I know. Mm. Your Majesty, I need to know what is really going on. Hello, sweetheart. I understand your anger. However, you have to come down. I am not the end of the situation. With him introducing me to that intruder as just his childhood friend. Your Majesty, do you know the humiliation I just received? An intruder, you said. And that's exactly what she is. So you don't need to bother yourself. Like I said, I have the control over this. I am still the queen mother here, remember? So you don't need to bother yourself. The prince is yours. Yes. You see that thing? She's nothing. You are going to be the next queen of Abogo Kingdom. Oh, Your Majesty, you need to do something. You don't need to bother. Come on. Like I said, she's just a passing phase. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go and have a seat out. Juice. Oh, 
you have here? The almighty queen of our Bigo kingdom in her usual aggressive pride. You couldn't even wait for the rain to abate. Had to defy it under this rain to come see me. And that's important, right? Maria, well, I am glad you still realize that I'm still the queen around here. Mm -hmm. As for the word pride, it's an attitude for royalty. Doka, so what do you want? Why are you here? To inform you that I know your games. You have commonly sneaked your daughter Yvonne into my household. All in the name of my son's fiance. Just you could ruin my happiness. Right? Just the way you wanted to do years back. And the name of best friend. Why you are a friendly enemy. Lucas. I've always known you. I've always known what you are capable of doing. I knew you will come here. You are not just proud. You are also predictable. What a shame. I'm happy. And I thank the gods. You know my daughter is there. The princess fiance. She's going to be the next queen of this kingdom. And I shall be clipping your wings. Bring it together. Clip it to the pin. And you are lighting the fire that will burn you to ashes. Should you dare me. I shouldn't have allowed your daughter a night in my home. Just because of my son. Just mm. My son. Lucas. Spare me those consoling words. I don't need them. My daughter is going to be ascending the throne with her husband, the prince. Like I said earlier, we shall be clipping your wings. You cannot do anything to her. Maria, the game you're playing, mm -hmm. I know it perfectly well. More than you do. You know what? So you can play. Trust me. Because I am ready for you. Let's do this and no who wins. I accept the challenge. Teeth for tart. An eye for an eye. You can choose to remain here. Or go back to the room where you're coming from. I was busy before you barged in on me shamelessly. So excuse me. You think you are wise. Don't conclude until God confirms it. Who knows the mind then of wait till God? I bite. Whatever he says must come to pass. If only she knew that the reason I tolerated her daughter is because she would die after the wedding day as a sacrificial lamb. Then Ella, whom I have been grooming for my son, would take her rightful place as my daughter-in-law. Oh, she will never. Yes. <laughs> This is the best way to be her back for all the evil she's done to me in the past. This is a perfect opportunity for a cold revenge. Thank God. Thank the gods of our land for our new tradition. The ways of God and who is making that nauseating noise? That must be Oyoyo, the chief cook. Always all over my lady Ella, parading herself, dancing around. Wait a minute. Did you just address that commoner as my lady? In your life. Do not try that again. 
Do you hear me? Yes, my lady. Now go call that thing. She thinks this palace is a nightclub where she's allowed to parade and make noise as she likes. I will teach her a solid lesson. Go call her. Again, when you go there, do not for any reason whatsoever address that commoner as my lady. You get that? Yes, my lady. Call her by her name. Do you hear me? Yes, my Call lady. her by her cast name. Yes, my lady. As she wishes. She think you are wise. Don't conclude until God comes and sees. Who knows the mind of God? Whatever he says must come <laughs> to pass. <laughs> I learned that massage, you know. I learned that. Like that, now I go chinko. Oh, I go China. They say they do it like this. They bring go the camp. If they come, I think they come. If they come. Starting when? How dare you call me by my name? Um, my lady, you've only instructed that I do so. You are very, very stupid. So, Yvonne instructed you to call me by my name, and then you came here to do so. You will have me to face. Where is that arrogant girl? Um, she's at the back on. Yeah. Leave your side side. Even you the grace stand here. You the talk to one worker. If I leave you like this, now you go worker. Ah. Eh? Your lady, Yvonne, call you, make you call me cook. Now your generation, I then be cook. If I say you don't lose, I know get respect. Say you don't join that uh, idiotic, uh, lunatic. He would take that Yvonne when no game man at all at all. You don't join her, they sort people. Abby, you don't grow. <laughs> wait. I don't get what I want to say. Shut up. No, they talk. If I won't talk, no, they talk. Shut up. Make I talk. Eh? Don't worry. Very soon. My lady, they will crown her the first queen, the greatest queen of this kingdom. I go tell her, may she sack you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be her. No. I go tell her, may she sack you from this lawyer palace. You go come up for here. You know no what? Fear. I smell jealousy. Hmm? See who they talk. <laughs> they, they smell jealousy. You don't see person where say jealousy they smell. Eh? I smell your, your, your stupid head. I smell your hand. People are saying no jealousy. Wait, wait, wait. I mean just insult. They, they smell jealousy. They, they, leave my head. How dare you instruct the ladies to address me by my name instead of the title? How dare you? Because the last time I checked, you were still a common. Are you talking to me about title? Have you earned one for yourself yet? Well, it's a question. You know, uh, sometimes I wonder what you're still doing here in the palace. Because the last time I checked, my man, the prince, already spelled it out to you in black and white. That you are nothing but a total stranger in this palace. Look, woman, you better watch your mouth before the Queen Mother throw you out on the street where you rightfully belong. You better watch it. Oh, wow. The Queen Mother. I see. The Queen Mother has pecked her. I tell you something, many of you are going to lose out greatly. Yes, you ever. Don't you ever in your entire life. Call me names again. Ella or whatever stupid name they call you. You know, I see you really like creating things. But I won't I won't oblige you. Yes, I know what you're looking for. But I need to remind you in case you've forgotten that this is a royal palace. Not your poor parents' catch house. Where you are allowed to display your madness however you like. Oh yes, this is a royal palace. If you want to run mad, you've got the markets. Where local ekuke dogs like you are allowed to display their madness. I understand. But I tell you something. When you don't want to know about a cookie, take an ekuke to a cast. It will still remain what? And they could be bad! I double dare you, bitch! I double dare you on your father's grave. I double dare you. You are testing my patience. Even you are testing my patience. Your 
You're testing my patience. <laughs> I just said about the cooking dog. <laughs> and the cook it with has to. Mm. To still remain what? A cookie. No, you guys need to shout it. To still remain what? A cookie. I okay. eat one. Why did you want to turn this palace into a battlefield to the extent of instigating the palace aids? Shouting at your voices. What has come over you? What? Oh, my queen, I was sitting pretty, minding my business, when she came backing at me like a mad dog that she is. No, and she... you backed back? She was the one who instigated the maidens to disrespect me. She I was the done. one. Enough. This is so embarrassing. Like my mother said, this is a palace and should be regarded with orderliness and decency. Do you want people to make mockery of us? Both of you should listen to me. I don't want to ever see this repeat itself again. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my friends. Yes, my fiance. But no, you need no, to... no, no words. No more words. Both of you retire to your rooms. Now! Hey, 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 this way. Go to your room. You see what all this is causing? I told you it's not going to work. Oh, Ebubik Dike, please stop complaining. Great kings do marry more than two wives. They have concubines and they keep their home in peace and harmony. That is why Igbo people as their men came against Zenona. I expected you to handle that situation as son to be king and not like a common man. Especially talking to that thing you returned with. She's reeking of troubles, arrogance, and pride. Talk to her. I can't do this anymore. Ella has to go. Oh, no. There you go wrong. You and I know that Ella can't leave. You asked for this when you brought that thing into the picture. So stop complaining and fix your home. I should fix it? You let me. Fix it. My heart to the king. Oh, my heart. Oh, it is broken. Day. I'm confused on what I stand on. Am I dreaming? You know, I called you here especially to thank you for the way you insulted that bitch earlier by addressing her by her godforsaken name. That made me happy so much. And I tell you something, I think I'm beginning to like you. <laughs> you know what? I shall make you my chief maiden when I become the queen. Thank you, Inko and Quido of Fabugo Kingdom. Thank you so much. Wait. <laughs> Did you just call me the incoming queen? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. No way. No, she addressed me. You addressed me as the incoming queen. <sighs> the incoming queen is delighted. <laughs> okay. I need you to know that the war ahead isn't going to be an easy one. As a matter of fact, I foresee a fierce battle. But I tell you something, we shall not lose God. We shall win. <laughs> and as for that, I do not know. I'm trying to look for the right word to, 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 to qualify. Uh -huh. And as for that foul-mouthed swine of a cook. <laughs> She is already on my bread list. She has earned herself as my enemy. I tell you something, 
I shall personally treat all her insubordinations when I become the queen. You know what? You've actually earned yourself a special gift for addressing me as the incoming queen. Thank you, my lady. You know, a good job deserves a good pay, right? Hola. Come with me. She think you are wise. Don't conclude until God comes fancy. My prince. Well, um, you know, tomorrow will make it three market days since your arrival from the white man's land. Uh, we would want you to make yourself ready to come out to the village square to mourn and to relate with your subjects to be for the upcoming burial. I know people are going to come out in their numbers. This ceremony, according to our tradition, demands that you must ride on the royal chariot and you must go with your bride to be and that will serve as a means of introducing her to our people before the marriage rites commence i have heard you my fathers and i'll be ready tomorrow good. That's good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, Adora, please, 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 do not make no, me No, no, so no, bad. no, no, no. You are a strong lady. I must say that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You wait. You mean the prince has told her that you are his fiancee? And she's still there in the palace. So what's she still doing there then? Wasting her time and future. Obviously being engineered by the deceitful queen who sees her as one of her puppets. But you know what? Mm. I could care less. I could bloody care less about them. I tell you something. Mm. Tomorrow is going to be a wonder. The prince is going to be riding with his bride-to-be. You know, he will be officially unveiling his bride-to-be to the people of Abugo kingdom and guys who will be riding by his side tomorrow don't tell me your girlfriend ah! his fiance i know right yes listen it's tomorrow i mean tomorrow the people of Abugo kingdom we know for sure mm. that that pig is nothing but clouds chasing wow. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Lucky you, my friend. You can say that again. The incoming queen of Abugo Kingdom. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. You know, this actually calls for celebration. And I'm wondering, we should go out, have some fun to celebrate the incoming queen. Hola, what do you think? <laughs> that would be a great idea, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, a quick intro. Hola okay. here. Is my most trusted maiden. Mm. She's very smart, mm. pretty, and intelligent. Oh. 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 <laughs> Lucky you, Olama, for winning the heart of our next queen of Abugo Kingdom. No, not just lucky. Mm. I think she's actually highly favored. Yes, <laughs> you're favored. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, oh. my lady. So please, can I go and check? Change? Yes, 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 yes. But do not keep the incoming queen waiting. I will not, my lady. Hey, yes! The new incoming! Hey. Hey. Am I not the most beautiful queen to be? You look so adorable, my queen to be. I know, right? 
Today I'm going to ride beside you in the royal chariot. I just can't wait for the world to know what a loving woman you've got. Us. I can't wait to you. <laughs> to show you to the world. <laughs> Get a smile. <laughs> Wow, 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 look at that, look at that, look at you. My right, baby, let's go. After you, my queen to be. Nina, I hope I look ravishing to go on a ride with the prince, my soon to be husband, on a royal chariot. You look more Spanish in the lady. Thank you. What is this? Move this. Hey, what is it? Talk, what? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Then I can trust it. Hey, my lady. Mm -hmm. The prince. The prince won't ride that uh, royal um, charot, uh, royal carrot, with that uh, jaga jaga Yvonne. What? As I they talk now, two of them, they won't move, they come out. You have to do something about it. Thank you. I hope say you deal with us. Yes, now. Mm, no fuck up. Oh. You gotta watch my lead. If anything won't happen to them, you tell me. Okay. If Nami the manager, yeah? Okay. I will give you plenty of food. I'm going to give you four minutes. Yeah? Okay. Uh -huh. Open your eyes. Oh, yeah. Collect them. That's my gift. <laughs> You look nice. Thank you. For what occasion are you dressed for? What do you mean, my prince? Am I not supposed to go on a ride with you in the royal chariot? Ella, you know the royal chariot was built for only two passengers. And as you can see, Yvonne here is going with me. My prince, why should I be the one to stay back while Yvonne goes with you? Well, that is because you heard him clearly. The royal chariot is made for two, not for three. You already know three is a crowd. I wasn't talking to you, Miss Arrogant. Learn to speak when you were asked to. You know, I actually know, I actually do understand your frustration and anger. If I were in your shoes, I should feel the same way, Miss Cinderella. Okay, that's enough. Enough. Not now. Ella, you need to understand. Okay? The elders are waiting. Honey, let's go. Is this something more? God? Oh, okay. I am betrayed. Wasting my years. My time. Not anymore, my queen. I am not going to accept your consolation and soothing words. Not anymore. Not when the prince abandoned me and picked that girl. For the royal ride. Your Majesty, you and I know that whoever rides with the prince today is who the whole people will see as the next queen. Ella, sweetheart. All that glitters are not gold. You won't understand. Because you're only but a child. Then make me understand. Your Majesty, make me understand because I am running out of patience. In a short while, you will. However, you don't need to bother yourself again because I have everything under my control. I am still the queen of this great kingdom. So, you will join my convoy to the location. Your identity as the next queen is still covered. People will get to see you and me. They will feel the relationship. What else? Come on, relax. I'm almost done, okay? 
How do I look on this dress? Fabulous, right? And that reminds me, you are mm, looking stunning. I need you to join my convoy. I'm going out. Oh, my lady, I'm about going out to my lady here. How dare you disobey my, disobey my orders? What is wrong with, with you? <gasps> no freaking way you did that. No, no freaking way you laid those cursed fingers of yours on me. She's personally assigned to me, so you do not have any right to hit her. How dare you? <laughs> The last time I checked, porcupines do not walk with snaggings. <laughs> and the last time I checked, desperate whores do not live in the palace. <gasps> no, you didn't say that to me. Did you by any means just call me a desperate whore? Mm-hmm. Desperate me. <gasps> no, you think. Do not allow that to be get pain. And how the uh, 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 bride and grooming to intimidate you. It's never going to happen, Baba. You have the upper hand, and that is the prince's love. Rest assured, he will always stand by to protect you. Trust me, mother. My phenomenal mother. You know, you do not know that I have been giving you to them fire for fire in their palace. <laughs> so they've been feeling the heat. I know. I trust you, my child. Like daughter, like mother. Like I said earlier, I go other here. Just be giving it to them. This is just the beginning for that wicked queen who has always been the enemy of this family. Let her wait. Once you become the queen of holy, I will show her and I'll give it to her. Hot, hot. She will experience. And see my rot. In fact, Oga Abu Madu Buse is going to fear. I will let her lie. My phenomenal mother. Hmm. You do not need to worry. You do not need to bother yourself. In fact, please, can we just stop talking about those inconsequential people? Hmm. Because the last I checked, they do not matter. Yes. Mom, on my way, I placed a special request, a special order. Yeah, where's my food? Because I'm famished. How can I forget my precious? Daughter's request. Let me go and arrange the food. I'm sad you like the queen. I'm waiting. What is more? One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> <laughs> one sec. <laughs> one sec. <laughs>
I will need you to go call that Oyoyo or whatever she's called for me. My lady, it seems to me that you've totally forgotten the reason, the actual reason you were picked from wherever slum that brought you from to this palace. No, my lady. I know they stay for slum. That place where you call just now be like the place where big, big men they stay. Now for Buka, they stay. Oh, will you shut that thing you come out, you irritating clown? Listen to me. The kitchen is your only duty post, meaning that I do not want to, for any good reason, see you around parambulating. Hey! Or lazying around. My lady. Especially around that idiot mm. called Emanuela. Did you get that? I get and where well, where? Well. But that one way speak enter my head. That uh, parambulating. My lady knows this. That one can't remind me that song where they say they just the palambrate. Hey, so so story, oh story everywhere. Oh, hey, never don't bring light to, oh, never don't bring light to. Oh. oh my god, can you just stop clowning? Sorry, my lady. Listen to me. I need you to go to the kitchen and get me a cup of coffee right now. Okay, my lady. Move it. Let's go. My lady. I beg to take my move. Who is this? No, forgot. Just leave. Although it is oh so difficult to like, in the actual world. But it's a way I have to <sighs> What in God's name is this bullshit? I told you to get me coffee and you brought tea. And not just tea, but a watery one. Uh, my lady, no vest. You know, say your, your English, they carry me, they go up, they carry me, they call back. The thing they go on, off, on, off. No vest. I know here you were. I told you coffee, not tea. Now get on your knees, you bloody moron. You moronic bastard on your knees right now. I said, coffee. Do you know you are nothing but an actual moronic bastard? Now repeat after me. Say you are a moron. You are a moron. No, I say, say you are a moron. Say you are a moron. You should say you is a moron. You should say you is a moron. Really? Really? Oh yeah, I see you. I need you to have a taste of your bullshit! Drink it, bro! Drink this! Idiots! Now get out! Get out! I'm sure she did it because of me. 
I'm so sorry, okay? Oh, my she didn't pet me. Oh, my baby. You went to shoot me. I'm sorry. That is so wicked. I'm so sorry. Stop crying right now. Dear, I understand how you feel. It's okay. Trust me. Soon she'll be more modern celebrated. <laughs> oh. Your Majesty, are you planning on killing her? Maybe God forbid. Never. I can't have her blood in my hands. Not to worry. Huh? You won't understand now, but soon you will. They say he who loves last, loves best. <laughs> my prince. Now that the burial of your late father, our late king, has been successfully concluded according to our tradition. One thing is left before your coronation as our king, the king of Apugo Kingdom. And that thing is your marriage with your chosen bride, uh, which must be concluded before the next two moons. So, we need to know your preferred date for a traditional marriage. And you are choosing bride. Since we know you have two awaiting brides in the picture, who are Emanuela and Yvonne. Well, I will make my answer direct and brief as possible. I have chosen the one that is after my heart amongst the two women and that is the lady I return with from abroad, Yvonne. Well said, my prince. We have to commence your marriage preparations without further delay. So at least we have someone to occupy our throne. Hmm? Um, my fellow elders. Hello. Have I spoken your mind? Yes, yeah, yes or no? Uh, yeah. Her Majesty, the Queen of uh, 
Abuko Kingdom. Why are you scoping around my household? What are you doing here? Hehehe! Ebo kumwa rusigoro. Get scooping around. If there is anyone that is scooping around here, that person is you. Because you can see, I am coming from my daughter's chambers. She's living upstairs. And you're downstairs. Because I know you don't have any business up there. And let me remind you once more. I have every right to come into this palace as I wish. Without any permission, no interruption. Not even from you. <laughs> they seem to be Ogoai. Maria, this game you are playing will certainly consume you. Trust me. Eh. How? When I'm already winning, can't you see my daughter's wedding with your son? It's pretty coming soon. I have laughed last. <laughs> Mrs. Queen. Don't rejoice yet. Abu mm. Mubulu. A day boomed. A dab on my boy. Can run in. Can run on in. So do not rejoice yet until it is finally over. Hmm. Manonia for the Zebo Nichirochi. For now, I'll be seeing you, sir. I'll go my. Like I told you earlier, I am the winner. The wedding is coming. See you soon. Rejoice while it lasts because money comes soon. I, I will make you cry. The ways of God. And other ways of men you plan this way, and God would plan. What is it, Johnny? What is it, Johnny? What did you tell me? You hear what is happening for this palace? You hear that? What? What's happening? <laughs> you don't hear say, Prince, don't carry that uh, arrogant, idiotic, inhumanous Yvonne going through this. Give the elders, the king's men, say, eh, now she be my wife, eh, the next crown queen of this palace. You don't introduce her more. You're joking, right? You're joking. Me. I won't take you use this kind thing. Come take joke. Give you now. I take the see me. Wait. What do you mean? <laughs> you took Yvonne to the cabinet elders and introduced her as his wait, his next wife. That wait, 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 wait. Say me, stress me. I go they tell you something today here, they speak English. The situation where they grant now, when me I expect make you use knife, cut that your English come down, make you don't understand me. I the day you say you don't introduce her, say, eh, eh, here I present the next queen of uh, this royal home to you. Not being the introduction, as I talk to you like this, they don't carry her, they carry this uh, almanac. I be magazine, what be that thing with people? Magazine, magazine, magazine. They carry them, they don't they go to their wedding shopping. They go buy wedding gun, everything where they want to take do wedding. What? What? Why would, would they do that to me? But the, the queen assured me that everything was under control. She said it to me. She said everything was under. Now, you be not that thing. Because before me, I think say everything where they happen for you, they are under queen control. I don't know say queen, no feel control them. But I get that advice, so I will give it. You know, say you my friend. I will advise you make you forget Prince. I'm not sure say Ona made as it meant to be together. Forget them. 
But one day he go come, he can't think, can't yes. realize, can't ratify, say now you be the original wife, he go come back to you. Now he make them say, person will laugh last. Now he laugh best, he are not say, now you go laugh last. Bube, mm -hmm. kiss me, everything. No cry, yo. you know, say your cry, they make me cry. If you cry, you go make me cry. He shoot me. She said, Come back. No, 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 go call to Wahala. When? Ella. My daughter. If I am truly your daughter, then why all this? Ella. What has made you angry this time? Everything. Everything around here, Your Majesty. How? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me that your son, the prince, has already presented that intruder to the royal cabinet members as his chosen bride? And I was here banking on your assurances and empty promises. Why? Why are you toying with my head and my emotions? Why this emotional betrayal? <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> I've seen where you're boiling up. Hello, darling. Nothing has changed. My words as a queen is my bond. And I am reassuring you that you must be the queen of this Abogo kingdom. Swearing. By Ajakaja the god of this great Abubu kingdom that I must keep to my promise. Only patience. Just patience, my dear. Patience? Yes. Patience, you say, your majesty. You heard me. For how long? For how long, your majesty, when it is obvious that the prince is sleeping off my grip? When it is clear that I am the, the, the fool here. You're not. And you can never be the loser. Just watch and see how the whole thing will work perfectly in your favor. Just be wise. Okay? The great queen of Abogo kingdom. Patience is the saddle of the brave. Come, Emanuela. My sweet girl, only time. Just a little time will feed your worries and curiosity. You don't need to worry. I am with you. We're in this together. Right? And we're doing it. Relax me. Huh? What's my offense? Why are you hurting my feelings? As far as I'm concerned, the only thing I have done is to love you. So, baby, tell me, is it a crime? Huh? I am sorry for the tears in your eyes. I am sorry for all the emotional torture you've been through because of me. I am sorry my decision about my bride hurts you. I wish I could heal your hurts. But like I said, she's the one I want. Though you and I have shared a lot in the past. But it's just the past. And I want you to understand. Is that, is that all you have to say? I wish I had more soothing words to say. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for breaking my heart. 
Thank you for turning your back on me. Thank you. Am I dreaming? She abused me the most. Uh -huh. Queen of England now. You know, sometimes I wonder what will become her fate when she finally becomes a queen. I pity you also. Which nonsense will you vomit from your console? Who tell you say she won't become your queen? What do you mean? Who they tell you that one? Say that arrogant Chaka Jaga, Yvonne Abu Yvonne, won't become the queen of this great king. I take the reason, say, your sense, you live and for your papa's. Do you know anything? Tell us now. Please tell us. Which one will be whether I know anything? Me, yeah, I don't know anything. The only thing I know is say, eh, you get one secret. Wait first. The only person who know that secret now, Queen and the cabinet members. Okay. Mm. But I never talk anything because they say make nobody look up. Now, now, um, royalty uh, secret. When I want to make me now begin the, the speech, I, have, I don't give one a half. I don't talk anything. Uh, 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 tell us now. Who knows our friends? I can't wait to hear this one. When I told the like gossip, which one be say you can't wait to hear? Wait till you know where you want to hear. I tell you anything. Me and you talk anything. I beg me and I leave you. Oh, yo, yo. Mm. Oh, yo. Tell us now. She will not tell anybody, we promise. Yes, we yeah, you yes, swear. I swear. We swear. You swear? Yes, we swear. No, forget that swear whether they swear like this, you know the entire way. If you won't swear for me, may bring out your hand like this. May lick yeah. yeah. Swear. Now swear and I swear like this. You swear. swear. Anybody will talk this thing, eh? the person breast, one, he go lost. Ha. Uh -uh. It, it never oh, is that one. It comes the fear. Don't worry, we'll not tell anybody. Tell you the fear? No, no worry. Uh, wait. You know, say you get this uh, rules and regulation. We we don't they guide this kingdom. We okay. nobody know. Yeah. And that rules and regulation, we say when prince won't marry. The first wife when you go marry, go die the night of their wedding. Then you go die, they go use the person blood, cleanse the land for the coronation. Cleanse the land, the gods of this land, Ajala, you go suck the person blood. When that one don't happen, now you go make the coronation come take place. And after the coronation, now then now the prince will go, go marry the original legitimate wife. No two of them go come rule this kingdom. Oh, okay. You don't see where they come from. What they you say she no go be the queen? Yes, yes, yes. And yes, yes, yes. now they say, now they say, say, now you make queen. Anything with Jaga Jaga you want they do, queen they take up. Hey, oh, I don't see this. You don't see say she they turn her up. She they endure them. They hold herself. Because she knows, say her days is is it is number or a uh, number? No bad. Uh, is no bad. Ah, no bad. Ah, and is is correct. Yes. 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 All of them number. Mm. So she go die. And when she come die too, now we say our friend Ella go come be the queen, the legitimate, illegitimate 
illegitimate, I've been legitimate legitimate of, of this kingdom. Yes. 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 And this thing when I they play, they give una na even the arrogant Jaga Jaga Yvonne know about them. Even Prince know about them. The only person we know this thing now, now when and the cabinet members and the secret now we secreting between you, you and me. Okay, okay. Mona, no talk and more. No, no say it. I don't tell you any. You know what thing will happen now? Your breath go lost. No, no, no say it. No say it. <laughs> what a good news. <sighs> Guards! Where are these guards? Yes, my lady. Greetings. Where is Greetings. the prince? The prince just stepped out with Ono for an urgent issue. Is that why his phone is switched off? I'm sorry, my lady. Like you know, the prince always switches off his phone whenever he steps out. Oh, please! Shut up! I do not ask for all these explanations. Open the gate for me, fool. Open the way. What you just told me. Mother, how can I joke with something as serious as that? Dorcas. That wicked woman that calls herself the queen. You want to put my daughter's life on the line? Just for your vengeance, your revenge. And your selfishness. My daughter will not worry. Thank the gods for revealing their evil plans, her evil plans with the elders through the mouth of that loud mouthed cook. If not, we won't have known. But when the rhythm of the song changes, the dancers will take another new steps to meet up in new rhythm. The game plan has changed. We will change our own plan. Trust me, your mother. I always have a plan B. You don't have anything to worry about. Mother. What's the plan? She think you are wise. Don't conclude until God comes back. Patience, my friend. Let your mother plan carefully. Who knows the mind of God? Whatever he says must come to pass. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yes. Uh, babe. Greetings, my lady. I need to see you now. Honey, can't you see I am having a world? I said now! Now! Are you serious? You can't wait? Now! Please! Please! Um, but no, I, I am so sorry. You know how women can be sometimes. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. Of course. Yeah, like to say, family first. Thank you so much. The ways of God Your mom and members of the royal cabinet wants to have me killed. What are you talking about? Maybe you should go to your mom for better explanations. Look, Yvonne, if this is a joke, stop it. Because I don't understand these sudden allegations against my mom and the royal cabinet. Oh my god! <sighs> okay, it seems to me like you've been left in the dark too. 
I'll try and explain it for you. Well, your mom and members of the royal cabinet have conspired to have me killed to be used as a sacrificial lamb to their local blood sucking deity. In regards to your coronation rituals, after which another bride shall be presented to you as your wife and the incoming queen. Obviously, she has orchestrated plans to present her most cherished, the intruder called Emanuela, to you as your wife. I tell you something, I can't be killed. Yvonne cannot die. Her plans and that of the wicked elders cannot stand. Okay, I don't want to assume you could be so because of the differences you have with my mother. And I hope you realize the weight of this allegation. And I hope you do realize the weight of the evil conspiracy. If I were you, I should be talking to my mom right now for urgent answers. That is exactly what I'm going to do. can't be killed. No. No way. I can't die like a chicken. Never. No. Mother, what do you know about the barbaric tradition that demands the life of my fiancé on the night of our wedding to be married to another woman afterwards? How, how do you get to know about it? Just answer me, Mother. Um, it was meant to be a secret. I have come to see you and inform you of the ritual which we have adopted. It has to do with the prince bride. She will die the day of her wedding night. As Ajakaja, the great oracle, will feast on her blood that night. The sacrifice is to prepare the throne for the prince to ascend as the next king. After which, he can take another woman as his bride and live with her. We are obligated to know this as the queen and the know of the kingdom. According to our tradition, that you must keep it a secret for the prince and the bride to be in order not to complicate matters. No, you can tell your trusted elders. Thank you, great Ikoko, for your visit. I shall keep it a secret from my son, the prince, and his bride to be as you have commanded. The secret is safe with me. And I promise you, it shall be a secret, except for those you have asked me to relay it to. The ways of God. That was how it came up. You or her was not supposed to know about it. And you did not bother to frown at such a crazy act? What do you have me to? However, it is completely out of my power to within the tradition, established by the words of our land. That is absolutely false. But I am not offered Tell that to your so-called gods. I have no choice. Obi! 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 Obi
Summon all the members of the royal cabinet at once. As it pleases my friends. My prince, there is nothing I or anyone can do to stop it. It's the rule of the gods and must be obeyed. The rules of the gods, my foot. What a gruesome way to commit murder all in the name of tradition. What? My prince, you better be careful with words. <laughs> we are talking about the gods here. Huh? <laughs> well, um, like I was saying, a prince, it is unavoidable. But I suggest it is either you pick another bride or still pick your second bride in waiting mm -hmm. to play the role and pay the price. And that is if you are too pathetic about your choosing bride. And the gods are too kind to give us such options. I will not commit murder all in the name of kinship. Oh. <laughs> well, my prince, there is no choice left. It is either you choose the options as presented by the gods, or lose your throne, or worse, lose your life Bam. because the gods will take you in exchange if you disobey them think about it I understand how you feel, son. It's nobody's fault. For the decision of the gods of the land and must be obeyed. I encourage you. Take the elders' advice and uh, pick another bride to pay the price. Mother, do you realize you're asking me to commit murder? She don't have a choice. Pick another bride to be the sacrificial lamb and save your life, your future, and the entire kingdom of Abugo kingdom. It is very hard for me to do this. But I have no choice. I wouldn't mind switching Emanuela to play the role. Do you know how much I love her? How can you be this heartless? I'm not being heartless, son. I'm just being a mother who cares for her son. 
You know how much I love Emanuela, but I cannot jeopardize your life. I can't compromise it. The clock is ticking. We don't have time. We don't have another option left. So, you have to do the needful and on time. The wedding is but a few days to come. I need to get this straight. Are you saying that I should be as cold as ice over a matter that I should erupt like an actual volcano? No, make it make sense. Yvonne, I want you to listen to me. You're wise. The serpent is wise and trains cautiously. Especially at the dark hours like this. While the ape is foolish, and trades carelessly and ending up to be a prey to his enemies. Be wise like the serpent and not be foolish like the ape. Most importantly, I want you to listen to my advice and follow every detail of my plan. And you'll be glad you did. Mom, to be honest with you, I seriously can't wait to hear what your plan is. I mean, the magic plans. Because I, I really do wonder what they will be, though. No, no, no. I do trust your judgment, but I'm very curious to know what it is. Did you hear what I said? Yes. I'm going to see you. Bye. I will just you think you are wise that's conclude until God comes fancy. This is not only a failure on me after this tough game of revenge to get back to that enemy Maria through her daughter's death, but also a tough decision for me to make now. I'm finally giving up my darling Emanuela, my late friend's only daughter as a sacrificial lamb after all my efforts losing out to Marianne, my daughter who obviously is never a pay for my son <sighs> however what else can i do now than sacrifice emmanuel to save my son and my home Gods of our land, Chukuki Kabiyama, Omarata Marechi. Forgive me for this evil art on the one I truly loved. Forgive me for betraying Emanuela. Forgive me on this deceit. From my late daughter's friend. Honestly, Your Majesty, I am so eager 
to hear this good news that you want to so tell me that we are already celebrating to Let's do first. <laughs> to greatness. To greatness. <laughs> mm. So, Ella dear, this is the best news ever. What is it? Just say it. My ears are itching already. Okay. Let me let the cat out of the bag. My son, the prince, the most wanted groom ever, has chosen you over your rival, even as his first and ever best bride. After my personation, just few few days to the wedding. I told you, the magic is just a to prank. Oh, come on, Ella, dear. Please don't prank. Now, my words are burned to purity and honesty. You, your Majesty, you're not joking. Of course I'm not joking. We won. I told you I will perform the magic. In time. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you don't have to mention it. Ah, no, just come on. Okay, you know. Bring it down. Just shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. That's my girl. <laughs> This is crazy. This is so barbaric. Baby, I need you to believe me when I say I know nothing about this. If I did, I would not sit down and wait for us to get to this crucial moment. How am I supposed to leave you because of some crazy tradition we know nothing about? My love, I can never leave you for another woman after all we've been through, after all we've shared. It's not possible. I know, baby, it's okay. Listen, you don't have to worry yourself, okay? I believe you. I know it's not your fault. <laughs> it's only the clause of a barbaric tradition threatening to to separate us and end our plans of being together forever. I tell you something. I've got a plan for us. Okay? Okay, um, what is the plan? You think you are wise Don't conclude Until God comes What's in the happen? You know, sir, they cook now. You can't drag me, come out here. What made my food burn? Guess what? What's awesome him get? Wait, I won't get. You know, sir, I know they good in that uh, guessing. Oh, yo, yo, guess now. Nah. I know if he gets. My mind there for that kitchen while they cook. Okay, fine. Let me bust your brain. <clears throat> so the prince, Booby, my sweetheart, decided to quit his plans of getting married to that Jezebel called Ivan. And he has decided to make me. It's choosing right. Hey! God forbid. I cast, I bind, I demolish, I uproot, I scatter. Hey! Will you? What is wrong with you? Why are you acting strange? And what's God forbid? Are you not supposed to be happy for me? I'm being happy. Oh. So? I'm being happy for you. My mouth to be shake. Eh? Look at your mouth, it's, it's growing up every day. What is it again? This one is not as usual, no. This one is very, very serious. What is it? That arrogant bride of Prince Ebu Bedike, she's in danger. Oh. In danger? She's in danger. How? I overheard my father, Jono, mm. discussing secretly with Ichi and Joko okay. that the tradition has changed. According mm. to them, the first bride will die. Then, her blood. <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you. The first wife will die. Then her blood will be used to cleanse or purify the throne. Hey, after that, then the prince, her husband, will now 
marry a bride. Then she will live with him till she becomes the queen. Hey! Wait. Oh, you, you, and you kept such a thing away from me? And you call yourself my friend? No, no, be way to think. No, be way to think. No verse. No, no, no. No, I'm you. Not my friend. Ah, I'll be your friend, though. I'll be your friend. Make I tell you something. You know, say this thing. You know, say this thing. They say that my royalty secret. I don't suppose talk the secret. But I don't go, I can't spill them out to give you. I don't try. I don't suppose talk about my bag. Do this. Do this. Do this for me. My plan to get back at Maria has been completely ruined. Come to think of it, how did my son find out about the secret ritual? It was meant to be a secret, topmost secret. So how? Because no member of the cabinet can expose that knowing the consequences. Hmm. I think I know exactly how to find out. Yes, I do. The next queen of Abogo. Your Majesty, please. Enough of the praises. I have something bothering me and I can't take it anymore. Calm down. What could that be? Why? Why what? Why would you do this to me? Do what, sweetheart? Why would you blame me to marrying your son when you knew the consequences? When you knew I was going to die, should I do it? Why? Who told you that? Does it matter? Does it matter who told me? You can't even deny it. Ella. Calm down. Can I explain this? No. No. There is nothing to explain. Absolutely nothing. Your Majesty, I trusted you. You told me you loved me. I trusted that word. I trusted every single word that came out of your mouth. I trusted you. How could you do this to me? How? Okay, you know what? It's over. No. I am done. No. I am going in to get my things and I'm leaving. Hello. Travel like this. Wait. Ella, I know waiting day your mind. Waiting day your mind now and make you go comfort. When? Still comfort them on top. Then come run, come off for the palace. Not waiting the reason so. Yes, that's exactly what's on my mind. Nimi. But that's the right thing to do. I do waiting. Shut you up. You want me to die? I beg not talk again. You go just speak English for your mouth. You know the reason from your brain. You no go use your innuendos or brangata. It won't make you die. To die, they fear you. No be, no be, no be corrosa, they play you like this now. Nah. You no go play them game. I be, you know, no say an abomination. When a woman here say something won't happen to her, you go run, come off for palace, leave the prince. As they don't play you, me, I expect make you play them. You go come play them game. You go be like, say, your mind day, but your mind no day. You they hear me so? 
Your mind no go there, now your eye go there, but your mind, they outside. Guide them, play them. Now you won't, you won't go wrong. So, how do you mean? How are you saying? Greetings, my lady. Oyoyo, the queen requests the presence of all the palace aid. You are needed immediately. I beg go, I don't hear you. Oyoyo, you know, you know, I beg you come out. Uh huh. No cry, no cry, you no cry. See, you no go die. Instead of you to die, I go kill everybody with their palace. You tell her go, 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 Oh, yo, yo. Johannes. So, you, you are the threat. How did you get to know about it? Because this was meant to be a secret, a royal, sacred secret. Only for the ears of the royal cabinet, the chief priest, Kuku, and me. How did you get to know about it? How? Hey. It's a, it is a highness. It is. It is. Is it a, 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 a Begeli? You know whose daughter? She told you. She tell me. You are the traitor. You! God! Yes, sir. Look her up. Without food, no water, until I decide what to do with her. Get out! But until I decide what to do with her. So oh, no, 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 no. She will face a deserving judgment. Come get out. For the ears of the elders in council, Ikuku, the chief priest. <sighs> Your Majesty. Yes, sweetie. Please, what has Oyoyo done to deserve to be locked up like that? Um. It's nothing to worry about. She just committed a domestic crime. You don't need to worry about it. I'll handle it. Hmm? But she's my friend. Come on, Ella. Royalty is not supposed to be friends with commoners. She's just a maid cook. Not with the queen in waiting of Abugo Kingdom. You. Are the beginning and the end of royalty in our bubble. Come here. It's nothing to worry about, my sweetheart. She think you are wise. That's conclude. 
But I'll go out of the way now. If I stop you, eh, I'll Me? set your brain. I said, go out of the way. What is this thing standing on my way? This thing standing in your way is the mother of the innocent girl you want to mother. You think I won't know? But you and the cabinet members are planning to kill my only daughter, all in the name of royal marriage. I can't comprehend what you're talking about. You can pretend to be ignorant for all I care. I don't expect less from a wicked, dubious woman like you who has no conscience to mother another woman's child all in the order of her vendetta. Enough! Enough of what? Enough of your insults. Yeah. Have you lost your sanity? Oh, I forgot. You're a mad dog from the gutter. Now listen. One more of your insolence to disturb the peace of this palace. I will remind you why I am called Ijele Abugo Kingdom, the great masquerade. But other tiny masquerades like you dream a lot. Ijele woman, my foot. And what will you do? You think I'm afraid of you? Apart from unleashing this thing you removed in his brain to come after me. But I won't give you the opportunity to do that. Rubbish. Find the gods you know the consequences of your insubordination. The ways of God are the ways of men should plan this way and God would plan different. Oh, you, you, who sent you a message? Oh, you, you, who sent you a message? Which kind of one I don't prove myself? Which kind of one? My mouth to do the rest. My mouth to do the rest. Hey! Let's all go tell my mama. Let's all go tell my mama. <laughs> Which kind of TV did you send me make a talk or no that I don't give me? She don't give me. I mean, they got my own, though. they come back from market like this. Now she don't cross me like this, so I don't find a man passing your day out. <laughs> but I don't find a come I don't my own. Though. Now she go sleep, give me. me. <laughs> hey! My mouth don't pull me for a while. I went and won't pay my mama. That's how I take that, you know. That's how I take that, you know. So, that is the idea. What do you think? Well, um, it's a very great idea. But, how do you get someone to do that? Hey, leave that to me, okay? I'll get it sorted out. Trust me. I got you. Okay. I mean, if you say so. You should trust me. I got you. I know. I know you got me. Your friend, I've come to ask you for your favor. Favor? And what could that be? Are you aware my wedding is coming up in a few days? I mean, I could have forgotten our special day. Our special day. <laughs> Please, pardon me, I'm sorry. Such a big shame, yeah? I know. You almost forgot. <laughs> okay. You're forgiving. Thank you. Well, I came to inform you that I've got an emergency. Meaning that I'll be going back to England. Back to my school because I've got a very 
important unavoidable unavoidable in quotes promotional examination okay. to write you know how long i've been struggling to get this right like this master is it's my dream like the whole of my future depends on this and i have to be present to write it myself the only problem i've got here is that this exam is just two days before my wedding hey. meaning that i have to be there to write it myself mm. hey. so what happens to your wedding that is where you come in I already explained this thing to my husband. Sorry, my soon to be husband, yeah. my fiance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we both agree that I should find someone to stand in gap for me, like a trusted friend. You know, they do that. People abroad, when they are not around to be present on their wedding day, they get someone to stand in gap for them. Like, could be a relative or someone you trust, like a friend you trust. You know, stuff like that. And in this case, I've chosen you, Adora. <laughs> me. Why me? Why me of all people? Mm -hmm. Because you're my most trusted friend. How is that funny? No, wait. I mean, do you expect me to leave my man, I mean my fiance, in the hands of those desperate Devourers, you want them to take him away from me? Hell no, girl. I've chosen you. <laughs> so, girlfriend, what says you to my proposal? Your Majesty, please send my regards to the priest. I do well to explain to him why I had to leave. Since he's not around for me to do the explanation myself. Ella, please, don't go. The, the weather is just around the corner. You can do this for me, can't you? I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, but. I can't do this. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Ella. 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 Am I dreaming? My friend here, her name is Adora. She's the one I told you that was standing up for me on my wedding day. My dear, do you sincerely accept to this request? It's all pleasure, my prince. Honey, can I talk to you privately? Did you tell her what's involved with this whole representation thing? Did you tell her she's going to die? Because from the look on her face, I doubt it. Well, I, I didn't because I, I didn't really think it was necessary to explain all that to her. Are you serious? How can you think sending someone to her early grave is not necessary? 
He needs to let her understand. She has to know. And if she's going to go ahead to do this, it has to be willingly from her heart. See that? Why are you? I do not hey, see. Hey, hey. Listen, don't say a word. I'm going in there to tell her. No, no, you do that. Stop it. Please, come back, please. Um, Dora. That's the name, right? Okay. There is something I need to tell you about this whole wedding representation thing. So, according to the new tradition, whoever I get married to is used as a sacrificial lamb to Ajaka the Oracle for the coronation ritual. So, I want you to go home and think about L it. Listen, listen, sweetheart, listen to me. Is I'm sorry I didn't explain all these parts for you well, right? But it is not that deep, not like the way he's making it look, yeah? Oh, I'll need to still explain certain things to you, all right? But I'm sorry I didn't explain. It's Like this since you came back from the palace. Eh? What is it? Is this something you want to share with me? Mama, there's nothing wrong with me. I am fine. Mm. Yes, Mama. Are you sure? Yes. Please, if there's anything bothering you, don't hesitate to tell me. Hmm? You know very well that you are the only one, only one I have. Since we lost your father, please, eh? I don't want anything to happen to you, please. Hey, nothing will happen to me, Mama. I am fine. Oh, <laughs> nothing will happen to me. <laughs> Let's go and rest. I'm okay. just thinking. If you say so, then smile. <laughs> Mama, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Just go and rest. I'm, I'm fine. I'm coming to join you. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a Go. 
My dear, so what is your decision? <sighs> My prince, I've thought about it thoroughly. And the truth is that I've admired you so much. Even my friend here knows. I have always wanted to have a man like you in my life because of your fine qualities in a man. And you've proven to me that you're a great man. You're not just a great man, but best I've ever seen. Cons considering your honesty, your your transparency, your sympathy towards me in this situation. And I said to myself, you deserve every sacrifice, even if it's what even my life. Yes, I am willingly offering myself to you if that will bring peace and fulfillment to you and our kingdom, my prince. Are you very certain about what you've just said? Yes, my prince. Okay. I called for this meeting to inform you all of the sudden change that came up as a result of an unavoidable situation. Which is why I have decided to make Adora here my bride. She will wear the wedding veil and walk with me down the aisle, not Yvonne. Why? What happened to Yvonne that you've chosen already? Why changing your mind at this 11th hour? Because Yvonne has an urgent exam to write in the UK, so she can't be present for the wedding. I have decided to make Adora here, my bride. What a flimsy excuse. It's not enough reason to abandon her marriage. Well, um, <clears throat> my prince, are you really sure of this uh, sudden change of decision? Positive. That will not happen. You have to marry Yvonne. After all, you chose her yourself and you said you love her. So you need to love her and love her to the brain. Well, you see, I understand your point, your majesty. But the prince has the right to his decision. Anytime, any day. Yes. And we, the elders, must go with the prince's decision. Or any other thing. I agree with you, Chair. I agree with you. Right. Well, in this case, let us go with the prince's decision. What? Our newly chosen bride, you are welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. A guard is going to accompany you to your home so that you pick some necessary things and you come back to the palace so that the preparation for your royal wedding will commence. <laughs> Fair enough, I want to thank you all my fathers for your understanding. 
you to know that I owe you my life, my entire life. You've shown me undiluted love, an unquestionable loyalty, one that can only be found in the Bible. And I'm here to tell you, I owe you my life, everything I have. Thank you. Whatever I do, I do it for love and humanity. Please, the only thing I want to ask you is for you to take care of my poor mother when I'm no more. Honey, Please. She is now my mother. I promise you, on my life, she will be properly taken care of. Okay? Listen to me. It's a covenant. I owe you that. All right? Thank you very much. I should be thanking you. And happy wedding in advance. Uh oh. You're going to make me cry. Oh my God. Thank you. I will, I will be inside. Farewell, my good friend. I know your type have one way ticket to heaven because that's where your beautiful soul belong. We'll soon meet to part no more. But until then, rest in perfect peace. Because have you not heard about the new tradition? Eh? The, 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 that says um, that the bride, the bride will die uh, 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 on the night of the wedding day. Have you not? Please, Adam, don't leave me. Don't make me judgeless, Adam. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, <laughs> Mama. Mama. <laughs> I know the consequences of my decision. I made it in good faith. So who has to make the sacrifice after all? I have to be my only child. My only child of a woman. 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 Of a Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Please forgive me! me!
put it through there. Don't put it. Give me my daughter. 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 Can you just calm down? I feel your pain. I understand what you're going through. No mother in this world will want to see her only child die to anyone or for any barbaric tradition. I just want you to know that the decision your daughter took was solely her decision. Nobody convinced her. Nobody encouraged her to do it. She is a rare gem. One in a million. It's hard to find people like your daughter. Yes, please. I am so sorry. But here. This is 10 million naira. This is not to pay you, but to share in your grief. This is coming from me. And there's more to come from the royal household. Please. I am so sorry. Ten million naira to buy my daughter. You're giving me ten million naira. Mother, small. Don't ever. 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 Don't <laughs> now on our part, I'm going to burn everybody in this village. Honestly, I am not comfortable with this whole thing. I mean, seeing those tears from that poor widow's eyes. All because of this whole marriage thing. This cursed custom. I, I don't know. I, I seriously don't know about this anymore. I don't. Same with me too. I'm not comfortable with the whole idea, but we're already here, so we'll have to go ahead. And thankful to God, she willingly gave up herself. Right? Not like we forced her or stuff like that. I don't know. So why don't you see this as a way God wants to solidify our relationship? I mean, like a miracle. Or would you rather prefer I die? No, why would you say that? But babe, listen. But there's no but with that. Listen to me. There's no but here. Alright? You don't have to work yourself up. I understand totally. Believe me. She's my friend, right? It's my friend we're talking about here. I understand and I know her pain more than you do. You begin to take it too personal, like you're starting to develop some kind of feelings for her. Yes, because I don't know. I don't know why you're working yourself up over this. You should let this slide. What we should be thinking about is how to hold on tight and get through this, this period. Not what you're saying right now. Really beautiful, my lady. Thank you, Nana. My lady, I know I'm not supposed to say this, but I want to thank you for this rare sacrifice. I know we'd be friends even before I started working with the royal household, and 
To be very honest, your kind cannot be found or forgotten in this kingdom. Thank you, Nena. I just want you to know that whatever I do, I do it for love and humanity. Thank you. Thank you. How, how am I looking? You look very beautiful. Are you serious? <sighs> Thank you. Look at this one. Thank you. Mark, calm down. Calm down. You, your daughter is actually here for a purpose. For the, for the betterment of the community, please try and understand. Kata, what? I'm not going to cut down. Give me my daughter. Give me my daughter for me. Mark, calm down. Your, your daughter is here for the betterment of the community and she's going to be greatly rewarded by the gods. No, no, no. no please give calm me. down. Please, 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 please. Stop, stop, stop. Just no, no, calm down. Stand up. I'm going to stay here. Madam, calm down. Angels, please stand up. Madam, madam, please. That sounds like my mother's voice. Obviously, you do not expect less. Do you want to change your mind now? It's not too late. <laughs> I wish I could. That's my fate. It is my sacrifice. But her daughter accepted the sacrifice willingly. Not willingly. She was deceived by that evil lady, evil. Watch your mouth when you talk about the next queen to be. Else she will cut your tongue and pay them to the vultures. Will you shut your dirty ones then? You are very heartless. In fact, you are as heartless as are your wicked future queen, evil. How dare you? How dare you talk about the queen? Oh, is it because she traveled out? No Even if she did not ask God to advance the misfortune that she imposed on that innocent Theodora, what would she have done to me? And what? Nonsense girl. Mm. Is this what you said? No problem. Wait till she comes back and hear this. If you like, go and meet the town crier to help you announce it. She will not do me anything. Nonsense girl with that sense. <laughs> did you just insult me? Yes, I just did. You insult me? Yes. Me? Mm -hmm. No problem. You will get it first by me soon. Thank you. It's nice. It's no shit.
the protector and preserver of our great kingdom. We praise you. Now that the royal wedding is over, the next step is the ritual tonight. Where yeah, our bride will be honored as the chosen one by the gods. She will sacrifice her life for the prestigious coronation of our next king, her husband. My daughter Adora, you are indeed blessed and privileged to be the chosen one. You rest assured that you have a special place in the land of our ancestors. Now you will be prepared by a royal maiden in a special robe for the ritual. After which you will be laid on the king's bed and wait for your glorious departure. Ajaka the oracle will be coming to feast on your blood tonight. Others of our land. Let's proceed. Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go through. It's for the sake of our land, for the sake of a prince. Oh, I'm in your hands. Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go. He's strong. The previous woman of Abuko. Be strong. My Amazon. The gods are with you. And this sacrifice will not go in vain. Mama. I do understand the heavy guilt and empathy in your heart for the sacrifice she is making. I want you to know that it is not your fault. The gods have designed this to fade even before you were born. The gods indeed. How heartless. They can be. Mother, you can go inside. I want to be left alone. All the cabinet members and the chief priest in Kuku are here. need our presence. Blessed woman, I really pity her though. Same here. Sometimes I wonder if the gods are really just and fair. We don't have the power to judge. Only the gods can judge. Yes, 
You are right. The gods has the final say. Indeed, he has the final say. Although it is so difficult to do, but it's a way I have to go through. It's for the sake of my life, for the sake of a bracelet. I'm in your hands, oh God. Although it is so. Come back tomorrow morning when she must have been dead in line with the sacrifice. Remember, no one goes into that room except me, and that is when I will go to prefer her corpse for burial. Yes, You have to be strong. This is a part of what makes a king. Ananyo, Ananyo, Agriga, Ia, Ananyo, Ananyo, Agriga, Ia, Ananyo, Ananyo, Agriga, Ia. Do we have to wait for the chief priest? Patient, my friends, the gods are never late. My friends, I told you. What happened? What you here? It's time to purify the corpse for the burial. She dead. Is my daughter there? Tell me, tell me. Is she dead? I understand how you feel. Please, calm Is down. She dead? Is she dead? Just tell me. Just tell me. Ma, Just tell me. Ma, please calm down. Is my daughter dead? Just tell me. She please, just get me. Calm down, ma. Calm down. Ma. 
to stop crying, okay? The deal has been done. I mean, she's dead is that she's dead. And there's nothing we can do about it. Okay? Stop. Stop crying, man. She only died for the sake of our king. Is she really dead? Is she really dead? Of course. She's obviously dead. You think we're going to the kids' bedroom alone. Okay. This strange word. May I, may I so rest in peace? Um, you know what? We are nothing but mere mortals. And we're always going to be gone just like her someday. You know what? Just have to stop crying, okay? Hmm? Stop crying. I pity her for more than most. Just what we can do. She was dead. The ways of the gods are not that of mortals. You see, my friends, this whole drama, the gods, to Amare Rishwas, and the death of the chosen bride, we are all a script written by the gods and interpreted by mortals like you. Just to find a true and worthy queen of our kingdom. One who truly loves you. Our prince and our next king. As true love has always been the pillar of this royal family. From the time of our first king, Ebenezer the Great, to the reign of your father, whom you are about to succeed. Shall pass the test against all other contestants that pretended to love you but deserted you when the needs was imperative to prove their love to this ultimate prize. My daughter. Congratulations, my daughter. You have surely passed the test of love. Congratulations. Thank you. Good, Hikuku. Thank you, my elders. Mm. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey. Thank you, my prince. This revelation is his more than a shock to me. In a way of who? Just as I believe it is to you all here. Thank the gods for preserving my life. When I thought I was dead and mourned by many who loves me, like my poor mother. But I am alive today. And it's all over. I I better take my leave. 
Let me go and see my morning mother. I know she will be heartbroken in grief by now. Let me go and wake her up from her slumber. I am all she has. But I decided to die for my... for my prince. And for my kingdom. Since there was no one to bet on the boat of our future, especially that of humble prince who is loved by all but himself, who will obviously make a great king. Yes, thank the gods it's all over. I believe by now the prince must have known his place amongst his lovers. And I never regretted my sacrifice. Whatever I did, I did it out of love and humanity. Thank the gods for saving my life. Thank you, Ikuku. Thank you, my elders. Thank you, my prince. I better leave. You are not leaving, Adora. For no feet as clean as yours has walked the paths of this palace. <laughs> Neither have I seen a heart as honest as yours before me. Please. Be my wife. I want you to walk beside me and sit next to me on the throne of this kingdom. Please, my beloved love. What I cannot answer. They asked me to release you. So you just go home to your father's house until they finish deciding your matter. Now leave. Make a ready cook clothes. Leave, leave, leave. Just leave like that. My pride, 
my everything. What do I have left? Nothing. Just a miserable life. <laughs> if I can't achieve anything, do you see? Let me bury your photo. <laughs> to give you a bit of it in burial. <laughs> and your tears saved my life. And now I am legally married to my prince. Eh? You mean you are not the queen of Abu Kingdom? Yes, Mama. Hey. Yes. She is now my wife. Oh. Chukwu, okay. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Chukwu, Abiyama.
be. See Natasha now. See your girl, see Natasha. Embarking on this cruise with you, man, has really been a bag of fun. Trust I know, me. Right? I mean, look at us. See your girl. Eh? Flexing, going around luxurious hotels, the most expensive clubs. The way you can't boss my head, babe. Tomorrow, with your balling, ABG. Coming back again, flying down. Life God punish poverty. Poverty, your father, anywhere you did, God punish you. Eh? You know what? You can actually say that again. Uh huh. And again. and again, girl. Yeah, I know. And you know that when it comes to this money thing, there's levels to it. Especially when it comes to royal wealth. You can't compare royal wealth to ordinary money. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been boiling like a siba on my honeymoon. Even though my husband isn't here with me, but that's okay. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Life has to go on mm -hmm. with or without him. <laughs> and I'm sure by now, the ritual must have been done. And that girl, God rest her soul, will be chilling in the morgue right now. Uh -oh. Amen. It's so sad. I just can't wait to get back as the next queen of our mm -hmm. kingdom. Mm -hmm. As you should. Babe, if you can't wait, what do you want me to say? I can't wait to see my bestie on the royal tie, you know. Eh? You are the ball in the palace. Eh? Yeah. That's how they come. Eh? My friend in the park. Cochlear Road. Eh? Eh? And they tell you, we are going to the palace. Eh? He can't come to the palace, baby girl. Why? But you know he can't come to the palace. We can mean? always see outside the palace, not inside the palace. You can come look for me there. Wait a minute, have you got an agenda you want to expose me or something? No, you know I live a double life. You want to come tell them that for real, this is a fake girl? Is that it? No, you can't come look for me in the yeah. palace. We can always ball like we're balling here outside the palace. I promise you I'll always make out time for us outside, not inside the palace. Promise. I promise you, baby. Cross but don't, don't, don't forget to say you are a bad girl. A bad girl will always be a bad girl. I know that. <laughs> but not inside the palace. I know. <laughs> Alright, cheers to that girl. Congratulations, yes, baby. Mm -hmm. okay. Hi, Mom. Hello? Hello, Yvonne? My daughter, there is a problem. What problem? It is not something I can explain on the phone. Just start coming home immediately. I mean immediately. I should turn back. You, you, it's not something we can discuss on the phone? Also, also, also. Oh, all right, all right. I'm coming now. I'm coming right away. All right. Hey! What's up, girl? Here's the phone. It's my mom. She said there's something she needs to talk to me about that I have to come back right now. Please, can you turn back? Are you kidding me? Please, please. She, has something she sounded very urgent. Oh my God. Please, just turn for me. Yeah. Oh. Are you seeing your back? Yeah. I just hope it's not that bad. Oh my god. Please come down. I hate to receive calls like this from my mom. I know. I know that feeling. Come down, okay? I'm fine. It's my name. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Keep smiling. You know, smile. Fine girl, you know, fine girl, being cool, fine girl. <laughs> Let me try you up, come on. No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm okay. fine. No, 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 no. Play your kidding, right? No, mom, mom, tell me you're joking. It is not a joke, Yvonne, be serious. Oh, 
a joke either. How does this look like a joke? Ah, this is a very serious matter. Listen, you have to make hay while the sun shines. Because there's no time. The battle bell has been rung. I said to go. No, no, no. no. to not know that I just go back. No, wait. You're just standing there looking directly into the sky like innocent pregnant virgins about to be sacrificed to the deity. Morons! Help me! I just go back. I'm talking to you. Adieu. Did you just say what? Adieu. You shall be fired. You shall be fired. I promise you, I will fire you all! Wait My queen. till we know who gets fired first. Ah, it's arrogant. My queen? My, my mother-in-law? What is going on? This, this, this... This idiot disrespected me. They just disrespected me right now. Well, I instructed them not to accord you your usual courtesy or privileges. Why? The last time I checked, I am the next queen of Abugo Kingdom, and it's my right. And the last time I viewed, you used to. I told your mother, Iheja Lioji Rika. Unfortunately, you've lost all that. Not anymore. Things have greatly changed around here, so. You are no longer welcome in this palace except on invitation. Why? What, what have I done? Who will stop me though? Me! Me! The almighty Ijele of Abubo Kingdom. Well, let me... educate you to clear your curiosity. Makani mana. So my son has successfully chosen a befitting bride <laughs> in your place. You better be kidding, right? <laughs> oh, here it comes. Hey, baby. Oh, please. The sense. Come on. The civil. Good. This. This is the latest couple in Abu Great Kingdom. You lie. The king and the queen in waiting. You lie. No way. He's mine. Oh, please. I am his chosen bride. Distance. Baby. Wait a minute. Bloody betrayer. What have you done? Dead. I am sorry. You don't have to apologize to her, my beautiful jewel, because you owe her none. Yvonne, a lot has changed since you left. And as you can see, I have found myself a very beautiful, befitting bride. The one that truly loves me. The one that did not abandon me even in the face of death. Baby, I did not abandon you. I never gave up on you. This is our agreement. We agreed on this. And I'm back. Too I'm late. back to you. It is too late. It's too late. As you can see, this woman of virtue has taken that place. One that decided to sacrifice her life to save mine. Selflessly and willingly. What more can a man ask for? What sacrifice is greater than what she offered? 
She deserves to walk on the corridors of royalty. Share my wine, my meal, my bed, and my heart. Now I want you to accept this situation and let go. You know, sometimes we need to hurt to be happy. I wish you the very best. Baby, let's go. Oh, so, excuse me. Um, let me take a selfie because of the, the wedding picture and coronation. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, that's my girl. Come on, you look pretty. Oh, I love you. Have a nice time. Um, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey! Um, excuse me, lady. Oh, please, um, let me just put please, for oh, God's sake. Uh, the car key. We've been looking for the car key. Where? May I have it? May I have it? Oh, oh my word. Please. Hmm. Um, Rush, go call the royal physicians to come take care of her. Please come, 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 come. Tell, tell them to take her away. Maybe to the house. You need to stop crying. Just forget about the past and moved on. Please. How? Cosi, how? How was I so stupid? Cosi, how was I so blind to see that? This was just a test of love. How? How? Because see, this was the only opportunity I had to win this game against that Jezebel called Yvonne. But I messed it all up. I lost. I was such a fool. I lost. No, you are not a fool, Ella. You did what anyone in your shoe would. You're not destined to be with the prince. <laughs> Adora is. Regarding her sacrifice, in life, we just judge us, we draw mirages. You are not different. No other woman would, even me. I'm not going to do that. But your story is what is a lesson to everybody. You just have to move on. You're going to find a better man that will love you the way you deserve. Please stop crying. Ella, you don't understand. The Queen Mother told me. She said, Ella, calm down. I have everything under control. She said I was going to be the next queen. She told me, but I was so stupid. She told me. She said I should be patient. She said patience was all that was asked of me. She said it. She said. I said I should be patient. She said I should calm down. Oh, that is so stupid. Oh, that is so stupid. I see this. Oh, that is so stupid. I see this. I was so stupid. What are you doing here? I've come to see your ugly face, or do I use the word? Pathetic, dear Maria. Dokas, you have seen the ugly face. Can you leave now? What do you want? Oh, easy. I want to remind you about our contest. Game of war. Who won? Who smiles last? Dear Maria, I don't care who smiles or who laughs last. Leave my house. Haven't you done enough? Leave my house. Easy. I've also come to inform you that your daughter has fainted. What? From the shock that she has filled in your quest. Please, my daughter. What have you done to my daughter? What did you oh, do? Oh, please. Shut your mouth. You don't have to worry. The royal household is not wicked to have abandoned someone when needed, like your daughter did to my son. The royal physicians have taken care of her. 
She's resting in the hospital. So you go and see her. Oh, Nixon Hospital to be precise. See you in my next life as a slave, dear Maria. Suddenly, do you want to do that? Punch me. Can you open? We want to drive in. I can't open the gate for you. Why? What do you want to say? I can't open the gate for you. We want to drive in. I'm sorry, Yvonne. I can't open the gate for you. Why? Because I'm under instruction here not to open the gate for you. That's okay. Please, can you go call, call my friend, Adora? Tell her I'm outside. I'm waiting for her. So because you're under instruction, that's why you're calling her by her name, Yvonne. Yeah. Hey, okay, I'm not talking to you. If I I'm slap you, I will... What's up with you? I will deliver your message. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Greetings, my prince, my lady. Yvonne is here to see Adora. Oh, where is she? She's at the gate. She's waiting. Please let her in. Do not let her in. Okay. Tell her my wife is indisposed to attend to her. Yes, my friends. My darling, please. Can I at least talk to her, please? Remember, she's my friend. Talk to her about what? For old time's sake, please. I'm sure she's here for trouble. Whatever trouble she brings, we will deal with it. Okay? Please. Okay. Send her in. Yes, my friends, as you please. Mm. 
You may not end. Okay. I can come in. Yeah, you may not. Come. Okay. After all the day where you post go, idiot, see bad head, the frog eyes. If not once, if I give up, boy, your life no, will remain the same. Greetings, my my king. Greetings, my lady. Welcome. But please do not address me in that manner. We are friends. I was expecting you to be angry than this penitent and peaceful. I am sorry how it ended. It wasn't intentional. Please, forgive me for all that happened. No, not at all, my lady. Please do not apologize to me. You didn't offend me the last time I checked. You really do deserve this. Like you said, he's a great man. I wish you both the best. I know you're going to make a great couple. And um, especially him. He's going to be a great king. And you, our great incoming queen. Thank you so much, my good friend. Thank you for your understanding and for your good wills too. Thank you. You know, you surprised me. I never thought you could be this understanding and mild. Thank you for your visit. And also, I want you to forgive me for everything. No, 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 no. Please do not apologize. Um, none of this was your fault. I am glad you, you made the right choice for the love of your life. I've come to take this as my fate. You're a friend to this royal household. You're always welcome to our home. Your home. God. Okay. Get an extra chair and some drinks. Okay, my friend. <laughs> oh. You know, my friends, I'm thinking maybe we could go have dinner, three of us. Mm. It's, it's just a suggestion. Um, I'm thinking it would be a beautiful way to seal up our new friendship. Yes. That will be great. Great, right? Yes. At least, let's rekindle our friendship again. <laughs> My friends. Nice you. Yes. Same year. Same um, year. <laughs> babe, having dinner. Uh -huh. No buts. No buts. Please. Please, let's, let's have some fun out, okay? Okay, okay. If that's what you want. Thank you. <laughs> so, cheers. Mm. Yes, she is. Funny friendship. <laughs> she think you are wise. That's conclude until God confirms it. Who knows the mind of God? Whatever he said. <laughs> well, they even offered to drop me off with the royal convoy, but I declined. Everything went as planned. Freely? So, how do you intend to do that? Do not worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Just be careful, you know? I know what I'm doing, girl. Mm -hmm. I know you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess we should go now. Yeah. That's <laughs>
Okay, um, now can you um, take your glasses so we can have a toast? I've used um, my water to toast. So this toast is to prosperity, to friendship, oneness, and lots of fun like this. Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me. Who are you and what are you doing here? I don't know how to you. Hmm? I don't know how could you do this to me? After all my love for you. Uh, what? What? Eh? Adora, I went to jail because of you. So this is the way you want to pay me back. Do that, who is this? Darling, I don't know this guy. Adora, you and I planned to spend the rest of our lives together. Yeah? Well, this is the way you want to dump me. Oh, are you having a laugh? What, what's going on here? I don't know you. Oh my God. You just dumped me like a piece of rice. Can you stop? I don't know this guy. Are you trying to blackmail me or what? I don't know you! After I've gotten my baby! What? What? This guy, this guy is a, he's a drifter. Because I don't know this guy from Adam! I don't... I don't know, so this is the way you want to pay me back. Can you... Huh? What? Darling, I don't know this guy, what's he... Wait, wait a minute, you, you mean you don't know him? I don't know him! Hey, are you, are you a lunatic? Who are you? Adora, for the betrayal, for the deceit, and for the disappointment, I have a gift for you. Hey! 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 Doctor, please, how is my wife doing? Just calm down, okay? Um, we're on top of it right now. She was deeply affected by the gunshot. <sighs> But my assurances are that she will come out of it. Please. Okay? Do everything you can to save her. Sure, sure, sure. Doctor, please. You, you have to help us out. Please. Just relax. We're counting on you. Please. Sure, sure, sure. Relax, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Come out of it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to worry yourself. Yes. Okay? I, I, I just praise you. Sure. Fine. Yeah. The doctor just assured us. Yes, I'm very sure. She'll be She'll fine. Be fine. Yes. Where are you going to? Sir, like I said, you have nothing to worry about. The place where you people visited, we are covered with CCTV cameras. So as I speak to you now, my men are walking around the clock to make sure that they bring the culprit to book. So be rest assured that all hands are on deck. Okay, um, thank you so much. I'll be looking out for positive results. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day. For, for God's sake, I hope you have a better explanation to this whole bullshit. Because I thought you guys said you were a pro. You are nothing but real life amateurs. You shot her and yet she survived. Uh, see, madam, we we did the job as perfect as you wanted. Oh, yeah. uh, you don't have to blame us. Wait a minute. As perfect as I wanted. And yet she survived? <laughs> How? No, make it make sense. How? Why? You don't know. Perhaps miracle. Oh, no? so, tell me that. Tell me that bullshit. I shot you her from go, a close range. You can go tell that to your pastor. Do not talk to me about miracles here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. You need to clean up this mess. You better clean up. You better have. You better find a way to clean up this cluster fox. Are you listening? Did you get that? It's okay, no problem. Okay. Um, which hospital did they say she's admitted again? Siri Hospital by DBS. You know what to do. Yes, we know it's what okay. to do. Yeah. This time, no mistakes, please. No, no, no. And no, until no. then, until then, you shall have your balance. Deal. 
touch it, don't you? Can you imagine? doesn't matter. She did not deserve any of this. That guy was just being so jealous and callous. I know. Babe, listen to me. Are you not being too hard on yourself because of this? You should understand that it is not your fault. Okay? I don't know why you're being too hard on yourself. Okay, what if she dies right now? Are you saying you can't move on with your life? Like, we cannot move on with our lives? Babe, listen. <sighs> Babe, listen to me. What, what do you mean you can't stop thinking about her? Is it that you don't love me anymore? I'm talking to you. We need to go see her at the hospital. Oh my god. She like, needs us. Can you can you just stop already? Officer, who are these people? Are these the suspects? Speak! She's the one that sent us after your wife. What? What? Are you are you mad or something? Yes, now. No, no, you said no, no, kid out here. Hey. Who are these criminals? Have you seen me before? Do you know me? Have you seen this face before? My Who prince, this lady here sent these assassins to eliminate your wife. Aside the confessions they made, this is the proof. Are you not Yvonne Opike? This is the path payment you sent to them to eliminate. Credit transferred from Ivan Okeke, 300,000 Naira. Reference, part payment. Babe, please. I can explain. I promise you I can explain. What are you explaining? Can you come down, please? Can you, can you listen to me? Don't, don't, don't touch me! I promise you I can explain better. What are you explaining? Listen to me first. It's, it's not what you think. I swear I can explain. The money... Please. My prince, I'm sorry. I have to arrest her. Please. 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 You are under arrest. Please. 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 Please.
please, my bag. Babe, please, let me get my phone. My bag. She think you are wise. Don't conclude until God confirms it. Who knows the mind of God? Thank the gods that our future queen has finally recovered from the misfortune she passed through. And then she is finally here with us. Uh, the culprits are actually suffering it. The repercussion, the consequences of their evil acts against her with her cohorts. And it serves them well. Uh, my people, now that peace has finally returned to the palace, we shall commence on the coronation process, which will take place on the second Ikemaket day. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're welcome back, our future queen. Thank you, no. <laughs> ah. Um, no. Yes, I invited you here to let you know that I want to rest in today. Okay. But I will be back to the arena very soon. Okay, congratulations, my king. Thank you. For the successful coronation, let me tell you the truth. My people are so happy to have both of you paddling the affairs of our kingdom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Igwe, Igwe, <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you, Congratulations, my children. Thank you, Thank you I am glad this ended in praise. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Mother. Thank you, No. Thank you. Thank you, my good king. My pleasure. <laughs> it's a privilege and honor to serve our people. My king. Yes. I want to go back to the arena to take care of that great king of, uh, of, of my great kingdom, King Ogrisibo. He is there with his entourage. Sure, please. Sure. If we... <laughs> um, so, please, uh, you have to be brief, okay? The Ijele is displaying now because I can hear the music. I can't wait to watch it. And I want to see two things. Please, make him come back. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming. All right. Oh my God. Well, so yeah. whatever we're doing, we need to be very fast. Once I freshen up, we'll just leave. Okay. After you. <laughs>